Revelation 12, 11. Um, just this idea of overcoming. Is there things in your life that you need to overcome? Discouragement. Is there a report? Is there a cloud of doubt that, that, that comes in over everything true and good in your life? Maybe there's been abuse. Maybe there's been a bully or some kind of monumental symbol of fear that seems to loom in your life. Do you feel that there's some kind of breakthrough on the other side? You, you know it's there, but the, there's an impossibility of attaining to that freedom in your soul. Listen, I just want to speak to that. For a moment. In the book of Revelation, we see a war between good and evil. In this chapter, chapter 12, the angels of God fighting the angels of the devil, and the angels of God overpower the devil, who is defined in verse 9 as, as a snake and as a dragon, who leads the whole world astray. And he is overcome by the forces of God. But then in verse 10, we have believers, you and I, who have put our faith and hope in God and in Christ. And it says that this dragon was accusing these believers day and night before the throne of God. So there's this 24-7 this accusation over our lives by the devil to our Savior, trying to discredit us and, and, and steal from us the victory that God has won for us. Okay, now here's the key. In verse 11, it says that they, you and I, they overcame the dragon and the accuser by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of Jesus Christ, and the word of their testimony our testimony, our faith saying the blood of Jesus has overcome. Now listen, there's a key here. It, it isn't in our own strength. It's not in our own wisdom. It's not by thinking through these scenarios that come against us or remembering words that condemned us and people and trying to come up with scripts that prove it wrong or come up with even ideas of retribution and violence. The, the saints did not overcome the accuser through their own strength or ideas. They overcame him by the blood of Jesus and by testifying to it. And you know, I've been challenged in my own life when I feel these clouds of doubt or true accusations, things that can be held against me, things I cannot reason away. And I've been challenged by this because, you know, it doesn't make sense. There's a humility in laying down my own arms and going, okay, I'm going to speak against this by the blood of Jesus. I'm going to say the blood of Jesus is stronger than this accusation. I'm going to believe it. I'm going to declare it. I speak the blood of Jesus over this hurt. I speak the blood of Jesus over this pain. And everything in me just, just says, this is impossible, this, this, this won't fix it, right? But we're told in 2 Corinthians 10, 3 to 5, we do not wage war the way the world wages war. So this, this fight that has come against us and hurt us, we don't win it by fighting back with the same weapons. So there comes a point where we as Christians have to say, this wound came against me with hurtful words, but my victory will be with a word of life, okay? It will be the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Hebrews 12, 24 speaks about the blood of Jesus and it says, his blood speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. And it's speaking about the murder of Cain and Abel back in Genesis 3, 4, 5. Jesus' blood speaks a better word than the blood or the hurt, the murderous, uh, tearing down that you're feeling in your heart the blood of Jesus speaks a better word than that which has hurt you and we need to take our eyes off our own fight and we need to claim the blood of Jesus and in faith speak it the word of our testimony and now listen that's where we have to be strong because in Revelations 12 11 it says they, they uh, overcame the dragon by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony and they did not love life 
They did not value life so much as to shrink from death. It was in their faith, in the blood of Jesus and the, and the testimony to his power, that is what they stood strong on. They didn't stand strong on their own ego or I don't deserve this or I am better than this. You know, I'm gonna stand my ground. No, they stood ground on the blood of Jesus and on the word of their testimony, so much so, uh, so as not to shrink from death. That is where we as Christians are called to take a stand and even put our life on the line. Not our own life, not our own ego, not our own fight back, but on the issue of the blood of the Lamb, the word of our testimony about the blood of the Lamb, there is where we can stand to the point of death. Because that victory is the true victory. And so I just want to encourage you today, um, other verses maybe to look up, 2 Corinthians 5, 7, just walking by faith and not by sight, letting go of yourself, becoming less and letting Christ rush in and be more for you and be more of you. Galatians 2.20, uh, even John 3.30, where John the Baptist said, I must become less and he must become more. To a point where, where we almost, in a sense, disappear and become the truest person that we really are in Christ. Galatians 2.20. Um, God bless you. Uh, may you experience more of Christ's healing and more of his overcoming as you really ponder and act on Revelations 12, 11. God bless you.